Thank you for joining me on this Saturday afternoon, guys. I'm happy to see you. See you all in the group. I see about 20 people are watching right now, maybe 15, maybe 25. Let me know how you guys are doing. How is your Saturday going? Let me know where you're from. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you can see me, you can hear me. Can they see me? Senor, what does the chat say? Everything yeah, good? good? All right, awesome guys, awesome. So, uh, I know you haven't heard from me in a while. You know, I haven't been doing too many lives lately uh, for a couple of reasons. You know, I was pretty busy and plus, right now we have, you know, a lot of work because I'm busy actually buying and flipping cars and making money, you know. So, I didn't have too much time, but today I decided to jump on and do this live because I noticed, you know, I, I did a survey not too long ago in the group and um, I noticed a lot of you guys are interested in buying and selling cars for profit. You know, a lot of you guys want to learn how to buy and sell cars and make money. About 70% at least of this group. So I figured this event is going to be very useful for you because I will, I will show you guys why traditional car flipping will never work, at least in the long run and i'll share with you how to finally stop spinning the wheels and finally start making real money uh, without competition and without too much stress without burning you know burning yourself out and uh, and i'll show you guys why you can do it even if you're not a mechanic this is today's what uh, today's event is all about i'm sure you're going to find find it very valuable and then in the end, I'll, I'll make a special announcement for those of you who guys stayed till the end. So make sure to stick around. I'll keep it short. You know, I'm not going to go for two hours. It's going to be probably, I would say, 30 to 45 minutes. I think, you know, we'll see how it goes. But let's get started, guys. Uh, first things first, let me tell you a couple words about myself. In case you, you don't know me, <laughs> my name is Andre. And I've been buying and selling cars for over 15 years, guys. So I started back in 2005 when I, you know, I, I came, I'm an immigrant from Belarus. I came to this country like 18 years ago. It took me a couple of years before I, I actually got into, into cars, you know, and to buy my first car and, uh, you know, start buying and selling cars. So when I started, you know, I, I was listening to the same people. Most of you guys are probably listening right now. You know, people like a, there's a lot of people on YouTube teaching how to teaching you how to flip cars and all they say is like all you need to do is to just go to auctions you know go to dealer auctions buy cars cheap uh, and then just you know put them on craigslist or facebook resell them and make money sounds very simple right it's like no brainer you just get your dealer's license or you use somebody else's license and then you just go to the auction you buy a bunch of cheap cars you put them online and people will run and buy them from you and you make all the money that's what all these people are saying but here is uh here's a few problems with that approach guys you know and trust me i tried it that's what i did for the first three four years of my journey with cars that's exactly what i did but i quickly ran into a few problems guys so number one big problem competition competition and i'm sorry for my handwriting i know it's not the best but i'll try to to make it visible right so it's kind of obvious <laughs> you know because it's, it's so easy nowadays to do this like you don't even need to, to to get like a location or open a dealership you can open like a wholesale license or just use your friend's license or something and you just get access to a wholesale auction right so what happens is a lot of people are doing it right so when you go to these auctions let's say there are 1500 cars there right and guess how many dealers are there trying to buy these cars, guys? It's about 12 to 1300 dealers. So it's, it's pretty much like for every car, you get a dealer trying to buy, buy cars, you know? So as you can imagine, and all these people are there for the same reason you are, to find deals, you know, to get cheap cars and to resell them. So you're like competing with, you know? So what happens is the prices go up. So when you're trying to buy cars, you, you're stuck with paying too much money. Otherwise, you're not going to get anything, you know. And, you know, I know all these people are saying like, oh, you can get started with $500,000, $2,000 and buy like cheap cars and then make money, right? That's, that never works, guys. You, you, you just can't, you can't find anything decent at, this play, at these auctions for $1,000 or $1,500. It just doesn't happen. 
So what happens, as, what happens is you are competing with a bunch of other dealers trying to, to get a car. Now, what happens, what happens after you buy the car, right? After you buy the car, you, you run into another problem. Cheap buyers. <laughs> and this is a big problem, guys. Cheap buyers. What do I mean by it? So, obviously, you know, when you are trying to flip cars, right? You can't buy expensive cars because then nobody, nobody will be able to afford them. Usually, people who flip cars, they buy them and they, they resell them for cash. And obviously, they're trying to resell them quick because, uh, you know, you don't want to sit on your, on your inventory. So you can do it over and over again, right? So you end, you end up buying cheaper cars for like two, three, you know, I would say like under five to seven thousand dollars. That's like a sweet spot when you're selling cars for cash. Even if you go up to like eight thousand, let's say, right? But what happens is when you put this car, the car that you bought for sale, right? Let's say you bought a car and let's pray it doesn't have any crazy issues that you didn't know about, which happens all the time, you know, by the way. But let's say you bought the car, you put it up for sale. You put it on Craigslist and guess what? You get people who are always looking for a bargain, you know. So what they're going to do is they're going to find the cheapest car out there and they'll try to get it even cheaper. And, you know, I don't, I don't have anything against these people. I understand sometimes people have, you know, problems with money. They don't have enough cash. Things happen in life. I understand. But for you as a person trying to make money, right, this is a big problem because... Not only you get, you get squeezed here and you, you end up paying top dollar for your cars, but now you're getting squeezed here too because everybody wants a deal. So now your profit margins shrink even more. And not only that, so let, let's say, you know, on average when I was doing this model and I did it for about three years, right? And uh, ev on average I was making anywhere from like 500 to to $1,000 per car in profit right and that's that's if i'm lucky right <laughs> so that's what i was making right but the problem is problem is a lot of times when you buy the car right it turns out it has some crazy mechanical problems that you don't know about and now you have to take the car to the shop and start fixing it and that a lot of times is eating into your profits obviously right so you you can flip two three cars make let's say two thousand dollars three thousand dollars and you think wow that this is too easy you know that's great but then you buy one bad car at the auction and you, let's say transmission is slipping now you have to replace the transmission that's that costs two thousand three thousand dollars so now all your profit is gone and not only that guys but keep in mind all this stuff going to the auctions looking for cars fixing cars putting them up for sale um washing cars Everything takes a lot of your time, you know, a lot of times these auctions start early in the morning. So you wake up, you go to the auction, like six, seven o'clock in the morning, you, you go around looking for cars and you try to buy them. It, it takes hours and hours and hours, you know, so you're spinning your wheels and then the end of the day, you, not, you don't make any money. You know, it's maybe sometimes once in the blue moon, you hit a jackpot, you get a car and you make two, three thousand dollars in profit. And that, that you remember forever and that keeps you coming back for more. That's how these auctions work, you know. <laughs> it's like a casino. When you went once and you won a lot of money, you remember about it. And you keep coming back for more, hoping you're going to win the jackpot again. So, again, as I said, this might work in the short term, you know, maybe like as a side hustle when you try to flip a couple of cars, make some extra money, you know, maybe. And especially if you're mechanically inclined, you can fix something on your own, you know. It might work for some people, but in the lo as a long time long-term strategy it just doesn't work guys so i was thinking like how is this possible right how you know how do other people do it right there's so many dealerships out there and i had no i i, I wanted to figure out like I, I tried it i tried it i tried to buy these cars these cars doesn't work so how do other people do it guys and what i one thing i didn't understand at the time is how uh, real dealerships actually make money and this actually explained to me why I can never compete with these people and why they're able to pay such high prices at the auction so any any good car at the auction is gonna go it goes for a lot of money because the other dealers just pay sometimes ridiculous prices even higher than the retail price so i was wondering how do these people make money you know and i see them every week week buying 10 20 30 cars big dealerships right 
And then, then you know, only a couple of years later, like probably three years, when I, I met some people who actually worked at the real dealership, uh, established big dealership, and they told me the secret, secret that I didn't think about, guys. And now everything clicked into place. So let me share it with you guys, right? So the profit for regular dealership, right? consists of a few things front end money plus back end money and my handwriting is the worst okay so what is front end money back end money right so the front end money is the money that you actually make on the car itself so let's say you bought the car for 8,000, you sold it for 10. So now you have a front end profit of $2,000. That's front end money, right? But what I realized that the big dealerships usually make very little or sometimes even no money on the front end. And that's why they're able to pay crazy prices at the auction, but they make huge amounts of money on the back end. So what happens is, what is back end money, right? This is dealer fees, so I'll just put fees. This is a uh, warranty, so let's say they sell you a warranty with the car. And what else? Uh, sometimes if you, have, if you do like service in your, your dealership, so you service cars, this is a big one, service. Uh, especially new, ca new cars and franchise, franchise stores. They make a lot of money on service. A lot of times they sell a brand new car, they don't make anything on it. And then when you start coming for oil changes, for maintenance, repairs, that's when they start making money. And finance charges. This is a big one too, guys. So not many people know, right? When you finance a car through the dealership, they actually get a cut from the bank. And sometimes this cut is like two, two three thousand dollars, depending on, you know, how much the car how much uh, you sold the car for so as you can see right this can be zero but this this you know this is where you make your real money so nowadays dealers add thousands of dollars in fees they sell you warranty for some ridiculous amount of money they make money on finance charges so it's not uncommon for them to make three four thousand dollars five thousand dollars on a single car uh, and you know obviously the problem with that is it's not easy to open a big dealership. You know, it, it takes a lot of a lot of money. First of all, it's very capital intensive. It takes time, and you have to set up. You know, the infrastructure. You have to uh, hire people. You have to hire salespeople. It, it's it's not easy, guys. So for most of most of you starting out, this is not an option, right? So and this is this is the reason why the traditional car flipping will never work, guys. Just go into auction, buy cars, try to sell them because there is no there is no uh, no way for you to make money because the only way to make money is the front end when you do that you don't have a back end and this is where the real money is made after i realized it i said now i i got it you know i have you know there is no way for me to make money doing this guys this is just a waste of time i gotta fi figure something else out and one day okay great one day i was in the shop fixing my car Again, a car that I bought, uh, you know, at the auction and I needed a bunch of work as usual. So I ended up, uh, you know, making friends with a lot of shops around the neighborhood who were fixing my cars all the time, you know, because they needed work. And uh, one day my friend, uh, Jerry, who used to be a mechanic in the shop, he mentioned that his, his good friend, you know, I was complaining about this, like, I can't make money. This is never going to work. You know, I'm tired of this. And he, said, and he said, you know, one of my friends actually making good money with salvage cars. And uh, I asked him, I didn't know what salvage cars are at the time, you know. So I asked him, what are the salvage cars? And he said, these are the cars that were, they have some, some you know, type of damage. Uh, they get totaled by the insurance companies. And then, you know, he buys them and sells them as is or fixes them up and sells them. And they sell like for a great price, right? So I'm like... I, you know, at that point, I didn't know what that, you know, what that meant or how does it work. But I, I definitely was interested because I knew it was the only way for me to make it happen. You know, the only way to survive. 
So I decided to give it a shot. You know, I, I started Googling, you know, and I found a couple of salvage auctions I logged in. I started watching the auctions. And I quickly realized, you know, what I saw, I couldn't believe my eyes. You know, I, I've, I've seen cars that sell usually for 20, 30,000. <laughs> At the salvage auctions, they were selling for 30, 40% of the price. So like seven, $8,000. And a lot of times these cars didn't have too much damage. At least, you know, when I looked at it, I, I wasn't like a body guy or mechanic but you know i was dealing with cars for a while and i saw it, the damage was not too bad and yet the prices were like super cheap so i'm like wow that's that's crazy so you know i knew right away i have to i have to give it a shot guys you know i, I have to try it and of course you know what helped me at the time is that uh, my friend jerry who was a mechanic he, he kind of reassured me he said okay andre let's you know I, I i actually offered him let's buy a car i'll pay for it and if it needs some some mechanical work or some crazy work you help me do the work after hours you know after you finish your day job and he agreed you know and that's how i got into salvage cars all right and now 15 years later guys you know i i, I sold i bought and sold over 1500 salvage cars at least all kinds of salvage cars from you know body damage cars to flood damage to fire damage hail damage theft recoveries all kinds of different cars so but you know i didn't start like that i started one started one by one you know doing trying buying you know car here and there a lot of times i lost money you know um and so it took me a while to learn and to get a hang of it you know i had to figure out the process of registering these cars so there were a lot of unknowns a lot of risk but eventually i have a shop and that's what we do uh you know every day we buy and sell salvage cars so let me show you guys why why salvage cars is a is a totally different animal and why this is the only way for you guys to make money flipping cars all right if you especially if you're just starting out so a couple things different between traditional and salvage cars obviously you know less competition okay so you know obviously there is competition right people know about salvage cars and the same thing people attend salvage auctions and uh, a lot of them actually go overseas so people from other countries buy them so there is competition but it's less competition than at regular traditional auctions because traditional auctions have been around for for over 100 years probably and you know this everybody knows this this market is saturated with salvage cars it's you know not not too many people know about it and even if people know about it, there are a lot of misconceptions you know so a lot of like christian was asking uh, not too long ago if regular dealers buy salvage cars some of them do like smaller dealers like me right that know yes they buy them but a lot of big dealerships they stay away from these cars for a few reasons you know uh, first of all you know it's it's they they are harder to sell in a way for them because just because you know when somebody goes to like a big franchise store, right? They, they expect to see clean cars with clean Carfax, you know, so they don't, you know, it's harder for them to sell somebody a car that has a salvage history, you know, so they, and plus there are some issues with financing as well, you know, so um, they, they stay away from these cars. But smaller dealers like me, when I hear salvage, <laughs> I run to this car and I buy it because I know I'm gonna make money. So less competition, right? So, the thing that stems from less competition obviously higher profit margins higher profit margins so as i said before with traditional cars if you make 500 to a thousand dollars a car that's considered good with salvage cars you should expect to make at least i would say like two to four thousand dollars per car depending on um obviously the price the type of car and a lot of times you make way more than that but on average right so as you can see right there the profit the profit margins are like four times higher with salvage cars than regular cars <laughs> you know this is this is crazy but it's true all right and uh a lot of times especially nowadays you know after you know i, I have a lot of experience with this i've been doing this for 15 years so a lot of times it's not uncommon for me to make five thousand ten thousand dollars or more on the car which is absolutely insane you know and this is just the front-end money guys front-end money i'm not talking about back-end 
if you have a dealership like me we sell warranty we finance we do all this stuff too to make money on the back end as well so as you can see you can easily 4x 5x your money with salvage cars and you eliminate your competition because like i said way less people know about it or they even if they know they don't know how to do it right right and now finally <laughs> salvage cars are easier to sell believe it or not this is this probably goes against what most of you guys believe right but the reality is for me at least selling salvage cars is easier to sell than than regular clean title cars why because my cars are priced way below market price so when somebody is charging 20 grand for a car i'm selling mine for 14 you know so <laughs> for this reason guys it's easier to sell actually you know in the way you know of course some people will will say oh it's a salvage title i don't want it you know and that happens too but there are many people who actually understand the value and they're looking for a deal they're looking to save money as long as you sell in a good car with no damage in good condition and it's like 30 40 percent cheaper than anybody anybody else is charging trust me you will sell it i sell these cars every single day you know so that's not a problem guys it's actually easier to sell salvage cars you know so as you can see if what after i started dealing with salvage cars totally transformed my business you know i i was able to open a shop um i now i have people working with me you know i have a bunch of cars in stock and i've been doing this for over 15 years guys so as you can see salvage cars work right so now let me show you guys um let me show you something cool so you might you might think okay andre this is all nice right but salvage cars have damage right so what if i'm not a mechanic and i don't know much about cars how do i do this you know i, I probably need a shop or like to be a mechanic or something like that so let me show you guys that this is not the case you know of course some cars we buy have damage but a lot of cars that we buy even with the salvage title they have no damage or very little damage at all so i'm talking about theft recovered cars i'm talking about you know hail damage cars vandalism a lot of a lot of options let me show you guys a few cars that i actually have right now in my own in my lot you know and i'll tell you i'll show you the cars i'll, I'll show you how much i paid for these cars and you can see for yourself that you don't need to be a, a mechanic or like uh, you know a body guy to actually make it work for you all right um all right so we'll start with this uh 2018 bmw x5 that we just got a couple weeks ago this car has tw uh, 35,000 miles and it was announced as mechanical damage right so you might and the car didn't start so you might think wow that's like you know what if the engine is bad right but <laughs> Believe it or not, it cost me only $60 in parts to fix this car and maybe a couple hours in labor. So what happened was when we, we actually went to the auction to look at this car, um, we inspected the car and I noticed that the rear seat in the back is, is loose. So somebody was, you know, somebody took out the rear seat. So when we lifted it up, I saw that somebody was mess messing with fuel pumps. So the fuel pumps were out. So you know I, I saw it and and i looked underneath the car i didn't see any any you know body damage any anything so i figured that there's probably some sort of fuel issue you know the, the fuel pump is not in that's why the car doesn't start and of course it was kind of you know it was a guess but it was an educated guess it was not just you know gambling so i figured you know let me buy this car and of course i buy it for a reasonable price so you know it's it's like a hedge or insurance i figured let's say if i buy it and it turns out the engine is bad i can send it back to the auction and just get my money back maybe lose a little money but if the car actually starts i would make a lot of money so it's a very big upside and very little downside that's how this business works so what ended up happening is i got a used fuel pump for 60 dollars on ebay my guy put it in took him two hours and the car runs and drives so we paid like 20 grand for this BMW. Right now it's worth like 42,000 with clean title on the market. And I know for 100% I can sell this car for 30,000 right now. I have already a customer who offers me $30,000 cash. But I'm going to be selling it for a little more than that, probably like 35 or so, because I know 
it's still going to be the best deal in the marketplace. So there's no reason for me to sell it, you know, cheaper than that. All right. So you, you might think, okay, Andre, that's cool, it's but it's 20 grand. I don't have 20 grand to, for my first car. I'm just starting out. Do I have to buy these expensive cars to make it work? No, you don't. Look at this Accord. It's 2016 Honda Accord Sport, guys. That's another um, car that I wanted to show you. And this car was a theft recovery. Somebody stole it, then they found it, and now we bought it. The only damage, <coughs> I saw that the tire was flat, so we put a spare tire on, and the key was missing. It's locked. It's okay. So we, end, we ended up making the key. I have a locksmith guy, you know, he made, made the key for like $150. And the car starts, runs and drives perfect. I know, you know, I paid around 7,000 with fees for this car. It's 2016 Accord with 77,000 miles. I can, I can get at least 12,000 for this car, you know, in today's crazy COVID market. So that's another, at least like $4,000 in profit right there after we clean it up, you know, paint a couple panels, wash it. It didn't need any mechanical works, guys. Nothing, no body work. Well, maybe pump, bumper has to be painted, that's it. You know, right there. Nissan Sentra 2019, that car was vandalized. The only things that were wrong with it, again, we looked at it before the sale. The radio was missing and the cluster was broken, that's it. These, these were the only two problems. And this is 2019 with like 9,000 miles on it or something. And we paid under 8,000 for it. I know you probably can't believe it, but these are the kind of deals that you, got, you, you guys can get at the salvage auctions, you know? So as you can see, you don't need to be a body guy or a mechanic. All right, so let's get, get back to the board. We're almost done, guys. Let me just show you a couple, couple other things. So let me draw this little box, right? So register. All right, so first you, all right, let me draw it. inspection finally sell it okay so this is uh, in a nutshell how the bird's eye view of the whole process how buying and selling salvage cars work it's pretty straightforward you have to register with the salvage auction there's two major ones is IA and Copart like you guys mentioned in the, in, the, um, in in the chat and both of them have their positives and negatives. Uh, so I'm not gonna go too much into it. So we buy cars at both auctions. Uh, most, most cars we buy from IA, but we buy cars from Copart too. Then you obviously, you find your car, you know, you buy it. Uh, you find your car, you inspect it, you buy it. Then before you can sell it, you need to obviously fix it if it needs some repairs. And you have to usually pass some sort of salvage inspection in your state. So. In most states, before you can register a salvage car, you have to go through a special salvage inspection where they check the car, make sure all the repairs were done, they look at the receipts for the repairs, and they issue a rebuild title. With that rebuild title, you can actually go and register the car and either sell it or register it, or you know now the car is legally is back on the road again. And finally, sell it. If you are trying to make money, that's what you do. And then rinse and repeat. Buy, fix, sell. Buy, fix, sell. That's what we do all day long, guys. It's a very straightforward process, kind of. There are a few things that you need to, you know, I, I know it sounds easy, but as you probably know, it's not that easy. Otherwise, everybody will be doing it. Now, let me ask you guys a question. So if you had a choice uh, whether to do all this stuff on your own, you know, just, you know, go through this process, find a car, buy it, fix it, sell it, or would you like a help of somebody who's been doing it for 15 years and actually bought and sold over 1,500 salvage cars? Yeah, of course, guys, you know, it might seem easy, like I said, but I'm sure you, you guys, I, I don't know if you already tried it before or you, you're looking into salvage cars and you know it's not easy. There's a lot of things that you need to know and be aware of and there's a lot of landmines there. You know, it's very easy to step on the wrong landmine and lose a lot of money, guys, because it's a lot of scams at salvage auctions and a lot of things to know. When I started my YouTube channel, a lot of people started asking me questions. You know, I posted some videos like teaching people how to avoid scams, how the salvage auctions work, something about flood cars. You know, I started sharing my experience and I got a lot of, a lot of questions from people uh, asking about like, 
how do you do that? How about that? You see, you guys are asking questions right now, right? A lot of questions. And I realized I have to put this knowledge into one, one place, you know, one big course. So that's what I've been working on for the past eight months, guys. So about eight months ago, I actually did a beta version of the course. And um, we had about 18 people who actually uh, joined the course. And uh, I did a beta training. Uh, I was teaching all day, you know, everything I know about salvage cars. All day straight from morning till evening. We had like a many hour session. And that was just the beta version. So after that, I, I decided I have to do the the refined version right and that took me like eight months to do guys i wanted to make it the best the absolute best salvage program in the whole world you know <laughs> and that's what i did i believe so this program is designed with one with one thing in mind guys it's it's going to take you from a complete beginner that doesn't know much about salvage cars to actually buying your first salvage car and selling it in as little as 30 days or less that's the goal of this program so it covers everything absolutely everything you need to know about salvage cars how to register with auctions how to pick the right cars how to estimate damage how to avoid scams uh, how to fix your cars cheap where to get parts what about shipping many 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 other things all of this stuff is covered in this program guys and you know not only that I, you know but I, I really didn't want to to make it just another course you know that you buy and then you never open it and you never use it just a bunch of videos that sit on your computer so i decided to make make it uh the full full full-blown coaching program so what that means is not only you get access to the videos and all the information and there's a lot of you know a lot of information you need uh, that you have to know to actually do this successfully but you actually get to work with me personally you can jump on a call with me every week ask me questions show me cars that you found ask me any questions you have about salvage cars learn cool new things and tricks so you personally working with me you know and and asking me questions and that's how i can provide you guys the most value because i know it's it's not the same thing as just watching videos so right now uh we just launched we, we just launched this program like i said we already have some people in the beta you know from the beta group that joined they're already watching the videos maybe some of you guys are actually on this live so if you are let let people know <laughs> that you are in the program let them know if you like it or not i put a lot of effort into it guys so um, we just launched this program so right now i'm looking for a very limited number of students because again i'm working with you personally guys so it takes a lot of my time so i only want to work with serious people you know people who are serious about this it's not for everybody if you're just messing around, if you just want to learn like a couple things about salvage cars, this is not for you. This is for people who are serious, who actually want to learn how to buy and sell salvage cars profitably and maybe turn it into a real business down the road. Or if you already have a business, let's say you're running a dealership, but you want to improve your revenue, you're tired of competing with all with thin, thin profit margins, competing with people, and you want to learn about salvage cars, then this is for you guys. This is a premium program. And it's a four-figure investment, so it's not cheap. So if you guys are interested in this, I'm going to give you a link in a second where you can actually book a call with my team. And we're going to get on the call with you, uh, talk about your particular situation, see if we can help you. And then, you know, we'll tell you what we have to offer, how, how everything works. And if, if you think it's a good fit for you, great. If not, that's okay too. So here is the link, guys, where you can go to sign up. You can go to www.salvageflip.com. All right, this is the link. So you can go, and if, if this program sounds like something you may be interested in, go there, schedule a call with me or my team. You know, it's free, uh, and we're going to talk, talk with you and see if we can help. And we'll tell you how, how this program works and answer all your questions, guys. Again, www.salvageflip.com. This strategy call is absolutely free. But again, we are very serious about our time and your time. So please, this is only for people who are serious about buying and selling salvage cars. This is not for everybody, guys. All right? So you can, you, 
it's two ways to do it, guys. If, you know, I, I know some of you maybe already tried to buy salvage cars. Maybe it didn't work too well. Maybe you have questions. And you know, truth is, you can keep watching YouTube videos and try to find free information here and there, but you're gonna be stuck in the same place. If you truly want to make this happen, right, and learn how to do this from the best in this industry, then this is your, this is your option, guys. Go there, invest in yourself, invest in your education, and trust me, if you learn this information, you will get your money back very quickly. Like with one flip, you can make your money back your investment in the program and then it's still yours to keep all right it took me eight months to put it together guys so I, this is seriously this is the best thing i ever put out i'm very proud of it and i'm excited for you guys to actually check it out all right so hopefully this was helpful okay does this course cover process for international buyers oh that's a good question guys so i know a lot of you in this group are actually international buyers right so you are in egypt or africa or some other country eastern europe you know so obviously this course is going to help you a lot <laughs> to actually learn you know what to look for when looking for sal at salvage cars how the auctions work you know to understand every little detail and every little thing that you need to be paying attention to so you don't lose lose your hard-earned money because it's very easy to buy the wrong car and lose thousands of dollars guys thousands of dollars happened to me couple times a few times so it cost me a lot of money to learn all this information that i'm giving to you guys and also in the course i'm covering shipping uh, shipping options as well i'm talking about international shipping i'm talking about how it works i'm giving you some some links that you can use some some contacts for the shipping companies and things like that so i'm, I'm sure 100 percent is going to be helpful for you guys not only for domestic but for international buyers as well and actually like i said before most people in these auctions, they are actually international buyers, probably like 60% or, or for buyers at Copart and IEA, these are international buyers. So this is a huge market, you know. So you'll definitely have an edge over your competition. <laughs> so thank you guys for sticking with me. I appreciate it. I hope you found value in this. Even if you decide not to book a call or to, to invest in the course, in the program, I hope you got some value. At least if I could convince you guys that you don't need to stay away from flipping traditional cars. I accomplished my goal today, you know, because all these gurus on YouTube, I'm not going to name names, but, uh, you know, they're teaching you things that don't work, you know. So I, I would love for somebody to explain this to me 15 years ago when I was starting out, so I don't waste my time. And I <laughs> started doing things that actually work. So thank you guys. Have a great weekend. Uh, it's a pleasure hanging out with you guys. And I'll see you in the group. Take care. Have a wonderful Saturday. Bye, everybody.